you know, Adesanya versus Blahovich is one of the biggest fights of my life. It's one of the biggest fights of my life. Champion versus champion is rare. It's special. And this doesn't have all the stories going into it of some of the other bigger fights of my life. Spinks versus Tyson, by example. Even when Randy Couture came back to fight Tim Sylvia, like I remember the emotion that I had inside as Team Randy. I had already looked up the nearest hospital so I would know where to send flowers to Randy. But I remember I mean, having this actual emotion of, oh, 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 crap. Okay, let's just get this over with. But when you do look at everything that Blahovich and everything that Adesanya have done, particularly in the short term, and vastly different in many ways, like Adesanya is known as the finisher, right? Well, okay, true. But if you go back and you look a little bit closer, Blahovich has finished more and faster. Blahovich is much less dynamic. He's much less entertaining on a microphone. That's true. He has the same 12-pound gold belt that Adesanya does that says he's the champion of the world, and that doesn't work. There can't be two. Look up the word champion. Doesn't work. Mutually exclusive term. So what do you do? Well, mixed martial arts, you go under the unified rules. And I bring that to you because so much is being made of Adesanya and such a dismissal of Blahovich. And I can share with you, that's not how Adesanya feels. Adesanya knows what he's up against here. He is not taking this light or for granted. He plans to have his offense on point, but his defense as well. And the question does start to become a smaller Adesanya. As great as he is at taking and rolling with and avoiding punches, how many of those Polish hammers can he take to put him down? Particularly because he is lighter and smaller. How many? Now, no one's going to know, all right? That's uh, how many licks in, in, into the middle of the Tootsie Pop. Nobody actually knows, but that is the question that you have to wonder. While understanding Blahovich is going to have 25 minutes to land one punch. It's where you start to understand that this fight is not as, as obvious as the odds maker have it, or even you smart mark fans, or even the fighters and the boys in the back. Oh, Adesanya, he's just too tricky. He's just too quick. He's just too long. All of that is true. He could win four rounds doing all that stuff. He could win four and a half rounds doing all that stuff. But as the Korean zombie was happy to tell to Team Yair Rodriguez, one second. One second is all that was left on the clock and stopped Zombie from winning. Because remember that fight? Zombie was going to beat Yair. One second left. Yair goes upside down, hits him with an elbow that had never been thrown before, never been seen or done before. Knockout of the year, knockout of the night, also ended it. One second on the clock, Yair got his hand raised. So if you love Adesanya so much and you're so sure of this fight, there's got to be a part of you that does understand. It takes one punch, and Blahovich is 25 minutes to find it, 25 minutes to land it. So now all of a sudden, you are a little bit more nervous. Now all of a sudden, you become Chael Sonnen when Randy Couture is fighting Tim Sylvia, right? Where there's never, there's never a point where you're going to get a rest or take your eye off it. And what I do tell you, it's one of the biggest fights of my lifetime. I will concede the stories going into this fight have failed to be told. That's on Blahovich. He's just not a storyteller. I will juxtapose that by telling you the stories that are going to come out of this fight are going to be perennial stories, not only for the division, but for all of the industry for 2021. Blahovich can move in some very interesting directions once he gets these eyeballs and that media on him if he gets a victory over Izzy. Not to mention anything Izzy does subsequent will also favor Jan. Izzy drops back down, does a rematch with the winner of Whitaker and Paula Costa. Izzy beats him, looks great doing it, just made Jan look better. I mean, Jan is going to be in a very interesting spot. I don't know that Jan grabbing the belt, I don't know that I would hedge my bet that that is enough to bring John Jones back in. I think it's enough to get Glover Teixeira, who has a cult following in the sport like nobody else, the title shot that so many uh, want to see him get. 
If Adesanya were to win, it does make you wonder what happens next. Because there's not really a wrong answer. There's better answers, and there might even be one you're not expecting, but there's really no wrong answer. By example, if Adesanya wins at 205 and you find out it's going to be Whitaker next, Whitaker now moved up to 205. We're all in. Fresh coat of paint. Somebody else came. The champion came up. Why can't the number one contender come up? Or perhaps you circle back, and this is where you work in a Glover to share. Obviously, we need to get the rankings. We need to do some thinking about it, but we can't give up hope. And all hope is not lost of John Jones versus Izzy. Not for me. Not for me. And then what what if John just simply won't do it because he's not coming back to the class and Izzy can find a way to get over 206 pounds, which a commission will require him to do to fight at heavyweight? I mean, what if? Izzy's so crazy in, in terms of what he's willing to do and Dana isn't going to be Mr. Surprise when Izzy calls him up and tells him that I'll just go to heavyweight. I think that Dana's probably been surprised two or three times by Adesanya and what Adesanya wanted to do. But now Dana's got to halfway get and go, yeah, man, I got a crazy son of a bitch here. He wants to beat people up. I got a business where they let people beat people up. I think I need to work with this guy. So I, the storylines are going to get better. This thing is going to be like a fine wine. Mark my words. This fight, Adesanya versus Blahovich, is going to be like a fine wine. It only is going to get better with time. And it's going to go in two vastly different directions. What happens for Blahovich with a victory versus what happens with Adesanya with a victory? Two vastly different directions. The competition is real. Izzy's as good as advertised. Blahovich is more dangerous than advertised. This fight is far from over. The lines on this fight will move within 24 hours of the fight, guaranteed. After they do the weigh-in, Izzy says he's not going to gain weight. Izzy's anywhere in that 193, 194 and a half. He's telling the truth. Izzy gets on the scale, 203. Izzy wasn't telling the truth. He did gain weight, but are the betters going to like it or not like it? It's going to bend how he looks. But I'm telling you, when they, when they finally weigh in and they face off together, where we can see the size, picture's worth a thousand words. Could be a very fun week. There's going to be a lot to talk about. And when this fight's done, guys, it's going to be more fun with more things to talk about.